Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So it's been quite a bit since I've done a current favorites video, so I figured I would talk about some of my favorite products at the moment. I have some makeup products, well, a lot of makeup products, um, some fashion, and I also have a little bit of home decor involved. So if you guys want to hear some of my favorites, please keep watching. So I would say over the past year, year and a half, I've been ridiculously obsessed with highlighters. I've been trying all different ones, trying to find the best ones out there, and I came across a couple recently that I wanted to mention. The first ones are by Angel Marino, the artist, woo, hey, okay, so these are the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Patters, and they are so awesome. I am wearing the color Gold Digger. I can never, like, get the the lighting right to get like the perfect highlight pick so I'm gonna try here can you see it yeah so that is the one that I'm wearing today and the other one that I'm loving is called Conceited Conceited is more of a beigey color while the one that I'm wearing today is more of like a silvery color I figured with this silver shirt that I just got from ASOS actually it would go perfect with this highlighter so I've been using these all the time and they are just so amazing I love how they're loose powder so I just like to use it a little bit with my finger and then just put it right on my cheekbones so I actually go to Walmart to get my nails done. They have a nail salon in the Walmart by my house. So usually I'll go get my nails done and then Brett will either go to the gym or go somewhere in the meantime and then come back and get me. So if there's time in between, I always end up walking around Walmart and finding all kinds of stuff that I definitely do not need. But I actually recently picked up the Bronze Booster by Physicians Formula. And this is what I'm actually wearing now for bronzer. It's a bronzer and highlighter in one. It's so pretty. I love how pigmented it is and I've tried a few um, highlighters from this company and I wasn't too fond of them but this one I love. It's more of a highlighting bronzer. I know people tend to stay away from highlighter in the fall slash winter time but for me I don't know I just can't seem to get rid of them. Every time I finish a look I just always end up adding some sort of highlight because I just like being nice and glowy. Another favorite that I've been using the past month is the Forever Nude Sculpt and Glow Palette by BH. So it has contour shades, it has blush shades, it has a highlight to put over your concealer, and it also has a highlighter. So I love this palette. It's super affordable, as everything is on BH, but I love that they came out with something like this because I've been loving the Anastasia kit, but this is definitely a cheaper option for those of you on a budget looking for something similar. And the next highlighter is one by Chanel that is amazing. I think it's a limited edition for the holidays, but I'm not sure. I will double check for you guys. But it's this gorgeous pearly white color. And I think this is such an amazing highlight. It's so pigmented. This one is definitely more pricey, so I wanted to show a few of the options that I like. They're kind of all over in the price range for those of you guys looking. Next, moving on to lip products, I have a bunch. This fall, I've been gravitating a lot more towards the browns and the plums, as most people are. I honestly was never really into the browns. I remember back in the 90s when I wasn't allowed to wear any makeup, I would sneak and steal my mom's lipsticks and put them on, and they were always like a brown shade and I haven't seen that in so long but it's so cool to see them back because I think they're really cool and it's something different it's different from the typical red or cranberry look that we tend to go for in the fall so I have a few favorites that I wanted to share with you guys that I've been loving on my lips today I'm wearing the Gerard Cosmetics Plum Crazy and it's so pigmented that I didn't need a lipstick underneath it I'm wearing the lip liner Plum by MAC as well another one is Cocoa Bean by by Gerard Cosmetics and again these ones are really pigmented so you don't need lipsticks if you guys want like a glossy finish these are a great alternative the next two you can find right at your drugstore one of them is Wet n Wild um, Bear It All which is 902C and the other one is NYX Simply, Mo Simply Mood Simply Nude in Exposed so this one I got at Ulta um, but you can also find NYX at, I have a Harman's by me that sells NYX. I don't know if you guys have a Harman's by you. But I'm sure you can find the NYX products somewhere, but these ones are nice and affordable. And this lipstick was like $2 by Wet n Wild. I've been wearing this a lot lately, and it's this beautiful nude slash pink slash brown slash beige color that I've been loving. And the final two are these new lip pencils. They're both by Sigma. One is called Indulgent, and the other one's called Go Dutch. And... These are cool because they're like thicker lip liners, so one thing I like to do constantly is 
and if I'm in a rush or if I'm just feeling lazy, I'll just use a lip liner and then color in my lips with that same liner. So these ones you can do the exact same thing, but since they're so much bigger, it's easier to fill them all in and you can use it as just a nude look or to put as a base for something else. Next I have two skin products, well kind of skin products. The first one is the Million Dollar Tan Shade Upgrade. I just started using this, I would say the last month or so, but I've had it for a little bit longer, I just hadn't tried it out because I wasn't exactly sure what it was. But this is what you mix in with your foundation to give you like a nice bronzy look. I like to do spray tans all the time, so it's hard to have a foundation that's going to match like every single skin tone because I'm like 12 different skin tones throughout the year, so this is awesome. If you just put a pump of it along with your foundation, it's going to give you that really rich brown color so it's going to match your body. I know a lot of people always complain that my face never matches my body, but it's because I w like to wear a lot of concealer and I guess with the flash it sometimes makes it look a little bit more white, but this is awesome, again, to add with your foundation. Um, the next one is by Jergens. It's called... It's called Soft Shimmer, I think. There's just a tag in front of it. Skin Radiance Moisturizer. And this is actually my second bottle of this. I used to use this all the time, especially when I was like on vacation or whenever I was wearing like a bathing suit because it gives your skin just like a really pretty shiny finish. There's no self tanner in it or there's no color in it so it's not going to give you a tan but it's just going to illuminate your skin and it goes on just like lotion and it's not sticky or anything like that. It's just going to give you a nice little shimmer. So I'm loving this as well. Even though it's not summer, I just feel like with the winter and the dull skin this is just going to give you a little bit of a nice glow. Another product that I've been loving is the Burt's Bee Facial Cleansing Towelettes. They smell so delicious and I actually picked these up when I was at Whole Foods. There was um, a few things that I actually picked up when I was at Whole Foods because everything there just is like organic and good for you. Um, these were one of them because the makeup wipes that I was using apparently weren't good for your eyes and I used to use them on my eyes all the time because what I like to do at night before I wash my makeup off, if it's a lot of makeup, I'll use a wipe to get all my makeup off and then I'll go and wash my face afterwards just so I don't have to use like regular soap and I don't have to do a couple extra processes. But this one I'm loving so far. It's it smells delicious and it really works well and apparently they're better for you so I'm all for it. So I, I think some of you may have seen my post on my birthday at 12 o'clock on October 16th which was the day before my birthday or actually well 12 o'clock was now then my birthday but surprised me with some cards and a few like little gifts and he wrote in one of the cards that we are going to go to Short Hills Mall and go to the Chanel store and I could pick out whatever I want so I was like that is like the coolest gift ever. I've never had anybody spoil me in that way. So I was so excited and we went to the store and I found the most perfect bag and there was a girl there that was actually going to be buying it because she worked there and she decided to just give it to me. So it was just so exciting. It was the only one left and this is it. <laughs> Isn't it so pretty? I like felt so bad when he was buying it. I just kept saying like, are you sure? Are you sure? It's just... I don't know, I have I have my Givenchy bag, but I don't really have many other designer bags, but I'm so excited. So I just wanted to show you guys this because it is my favorite at the moment. It's the Boy Bag by Chanel. I'm not sure what size it is, but um, I'll look on the box to let you guys know. But for those of you who wanted to see it, this is it. So I'm not sure what video it was that I had mentioned that I have eczema and dry skin and sensitive skin and all that stuff. So I saw some people asking like what I do to help it and I mean nothing really makes it go away unfortunately. I wish there was just something you can apply to it and it never comes back because I hate eczema and it's so annoying and especially in the winter months and the colder months it's just getting a lot worse. But what I always use is the Eucerin. It's called Skin Calming Dry Skin Body Wash and the reason I like this is because I found when I was using different body washes with some scents in it or that were more like creamy it just would make my eczema a lot worse and it would make it a lot more itchy. So this is probably my like sixth or seventh bottle of this. I just started using this I don't know maybe six months ago seven months ago and I wish I found it sooner because it's amazing and it really does help so if you guys have eczema psoriasis or just dry itchy skin this definitely will help and especially now that winter is coming we need stuff to keep our skin nice and moisturized so I like to use this and then over that I use the Eucerin body lotion I have literally if you saw my cabinet you would laugh I have like six bottles of them I have the eczema cream which Brett actually got me it's so cute on my birthday the night of like I was telling you he came with five bouquets of flowers five cards 
a little cane. It was called the Carly Cap Commitment Cane. So when I'm old, I'll be nice and stylish with my little cane because it was like a leopard cane. He's so cute. <laughs> but he also went to Walgreens and like picked out what he thought was some of my favorite stuff. He got me like a hairbrush. He got me lotion. He got me hairspray. He just got me some goodies and it was just so cute. But in that bag, he knows how much I love Eucerin. He got me Eucerin Eczema Cream. It's a body lotion, but it's for when you have eczema. And I actually didn't have that one. I usually use the dry skin one so I've been using that one lately and I'm loving it so thanks babe for thinking of me and just knowing what kind of stuff I like such a cutie now that it's getting cold one thing I'm obsessed with are slippers I got these cute little bad boys um, they're little hippos I got them recently and I've been wearing them all the time because with the hardwood floor downstairs my feet are always freezing and I just have bad circulation in my hands and my feet so these are a must I got these and I also picked up these and they're both from ASOS and I think they're both still available but aren't these just so cute? So I definitely needed these because my last pair I wore way too much and I sometimes would wear them outside and they were just a big mess so I need a new pair. So those are definitely my favorites and will be my favorites the entire winter. I wanted to share two candles with you that I'm loving and that I have burning in my house at all times. I have Yankee Candle Salted Caramel and it also smells like a little bit like chocolate in the mix of all of that which is just ridiculous when I was shopping at Bed Bath & Beyond to decorate my house and to get stuff for my house I saw these and I bought like five of them I then went back and bought like five more so I'm obsessed with these this one's almost empty and it's my last one but I also have golden maple waffles Ugh, they are so Oh my god, they're both of them. They're just so ridiculous. Um, this one I think I got from Walgreens. Yeah, I'm almost positive. But yeah, I love my house smelling nice and yummy, and I think these flavors are perfect for the fall time because, I mean, I guess any time of year they'd be good because they just smell so good. But normally I would like the vanillas or um, the cupcakes, but these ones are my favorites at the moment. So I have one more product that I wanted to share with you guys because it is the coolest invention ever and I just had my downstairs done. What it is is it's called Temp Paper and it's temporary wallpaper. My mom actually works for the company and she was the one who introduced me to it and she was like you have to check this out. It's basically just like a huge sticker that you put on your wall and if you get bored in a month, two months, a year you could take it down. So for me since me and Brett are renting at our new place now, um, I couldn't really do anything permanent because we're not going to be living here forever. So when we moved in there was a red wall which I originally really liked and I was going to keep but my old place had all red walls and it just was very dark and what I wanted when we moved into this new place was just like a very bright open airy house because I felt like I was in a cave in my last apartment. So I was looking on their website and they have so many different designs and I picked out the one that I liked best and I just did the wall. So it's super easy. It's basically a do-it-yourself project which is really cool and again it's perfect for temporary use so dorm rooms if you're renting if you maybe want to decorate a room but you're not sure if you want to keep it that way um, I'm also going to be doing a few walls in this beauty room as well as my closet. The print that I actually chose is not available yet so I will definitely show you guys when I update both my beauty room and my closet because it's just the coolest invention ever and I'm just going to show you guys a clip of my downstairs and no I'm not finished decorating so don't judge me yet. I will be doing a house tour. I mean, it's like a townhouse. A townhouse tour once I'm done decorating, but it's just been kind of a slow process. So as you can see on this wall, the top is like a grayish. When we moved in, the bottom half was all this deep red, so we just put the temp paper on the bottom half of the wall as like an accent wall, which I thought was really nice. And then I picked up these chairs right here from Pier 1 which matched the temp paper a little bit. It's like more of like an accent piece so I just did the two end chairs with that chair and then I got these beige cushions because it's a cherry wood table so I wasn't sure how well it would match but I got the beige cushions. So I'm going to just show you guys really quick how easy. See if when I peel down, do you see how there's the red underneath? So basically like I just said it's just a sticker and there you go. 
So that is how I did the whole red part of the wall and I thought it was a really awesome new product that I had to share with you guys and it's just such a beautiful print. They have all kinds of prints online so I will link it below for anyone interested. Also tomorrow morning at 7am I'm leaving for Nashville because I'm going to the Country Music Awards. I'm so excited and I can't even believe that it's real. Um, I got invited to go this year so I'm just so excited and I was wondering if you guys wanted me to vlog. I was thinking about vlogging the trip I will only be going for two full days I'm coming home Thursday super early but I think it's gonna be such a cool experience and I can't wait and I'm thinking maybe I'll do like a get ready with me video if I have time but if not I'm definitely gonna vlog if you guys want to see it it's been way too long since I have done anything for my second channel and also yesterday I had my meetup in New York City so I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who showed up it was so much fun and I swear, just having those meetups just makes me remember why I'm obsessed with what I do and how lucky I am. And it was just so much love in one room. And I would love to start planning more meetups all around the country and all around the world one day because I need to travel more. And it's just so much fun getting to meet you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I probably won't have a video up until later in the week, but I will definitely get one up as soon as I'm back from Tennessee. I love you guys so much. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.